So in the previous episode, all we've done so far is to draw some ocean waves with four blue rectangles and then use a um, shape twin to sort of simulate ocean waves moving up and down. So that's what we've done so far. In this episode, we are going to um, insert a little graphic of a fish that will swim from like the left of the screen and then turn back and swim towards the right of the screen. So before we get started on that, let's just name our ocean layer by double clicking on the layer one and typing in ocean. And now I'm gonna click on insert and click on new symbol. Um, I'm gonna call this symbol puffer fish and I'm gonna leave it as a graphic and select OK. Now, as you can see in the edit bar, we are now editing the puffer fish. What I'm gonna do, I am first going to put in an orange circle. So I'm gonna put in an orange circle and then I'm gonna put in a white circle and then I'm gonna put in a black circle. So this is gonna be the fish's head body and eyes. I'm just going to use the polystar tool to make like a little pentagon and use that as the fish's tail. I'm just going to rotate a little bit and that can be the fish's tail. I'm just going to do another two pentagons just so the fish has some sort of decoration like little spikes coming out of his body like that. And just one more pentagon. Let's put it into like that. Actually, I might just free transform this one. So that is like this. Okay, so that's our puffer fish there. If I select scene one again, okay, we've got no puffer fish. And that's because the puffer fish is in our library. Before we do that, I'm just gonna make a new layer which will sit on top of the ocean layer. And this layer will hold our puffer fish. So I'm gonna name it puffer fish. Making sure my puffer fish layer is selected, I'm gonna open up our library window by clicking on window and clicking on library. Okay, here's our puffer fish. I'm gonna click the puffer fish and drag it out. And I'm just gonna close this panel to give me a bit more space. Now, as you can see, this puffer fish is extremely large in comparison to our ocean background. So I'm just gonna right click on it and click on free transform. And then I can then hold down the shift key and shrink it according to whatever size I want it to be. What we're gonna do now is make the puffer fish swim from here all the way to the end. So I'm going to go to about frame 50, okay? Actually, before I do that, see how the timeline, they've already like insert a whole bunch of frames for us um, up to frame 100. I'm just gonna click on this and just remove all these frames first. So right click on it and then remove all these frames. So that we've only got the fish on number one and that's it. So let's go back to frame 50. I'm gonna press F5 to insert frames and I'm gonna go select insert motion tween. Making sure I've got frame 50 selected, I'm gonna drag the fish to the other side of the ocean let go and as you can see that line is saying that a fish moved from here to over here so if I scrub my timeline now I've got the fish moving from the left to the right what I'm gonna do once the fish gets to the right of frame 50 I want it to turn around and swim sort of back to about here so at frame 51 I'm gonna insert a blank keyframe which means that there's nothing in this frame so fish no fish fish no fish I'm just gonna use some rulers just to mark where my fish exactly is in frame 50 so I'm going to go to view and I'm going to select ruler so now I've got two rulers up here one horizontal one vertical I'm going to drag the ruler out from the horizontal ruler and just mark on top of the um, orange circle where the fish is and select a vertical ruler and just mark where the fish is there okay I'm going to now right click on the fish and click copy click on frame 51 right click paste and drag the fish exactly to where it was at frame 50 what I'm going to do with the fish um, selected I'm going to click on modify um, select transform and click on flip horizontal so that the fish has flipped 
So I am now going to go to about frame 75, press F5 to insert the frame, click on insert, motion tween, and then click the fish just to about here, okay? So now the fish is moving like that. Okay, so let's just go to control, test movie to see what it looks like. Okay, so I'll push swimming, swimming, stops and it loops again. Swimming, swimming, turns around and stops. Okay, so that's our puffer fish so far.